Hi. Okay, today we are going to learn about applications of Newton's Newton's second law of motion on motion of connected bodies. We can use Newton's second law of motion to describe the motion of bodies connected together whether moving on a flat surface or moving down or up the inclined plane. So we consider motion of connected bodies in case one motion of connected connected bodies on a flat sorry on a flat on a flat surface and case two motion of connected bodies on the inclined inclined plane but this is all about using Newton's second law of motion. Okay, starting with motion of connected bodies on a flat surface, how can we describe the motion of two or more bodies connected together when moving with the common acceleration on, on a flat surface? And we consider if the flat is frictionless or with friction force. If the flat surface is a rough, how can we use Newton's second law of motion to describe the motion? Okay. In case one, in case one, suppose we have two bodies connected together and are said to move on a flat surface. Assume the surface is frictionless. Consider, consider two bodies with masses M1 and M2 connected, connected together connected together and and moving on a frictionless frictionless surface frictionless If we have a horizontal surface which is frictionless and we have mass 1 and mass 2 moving on a horizontal surface. Okay, also suppose if F it is a driving force, driving external force F according to Newton's second law of motion. Now, to, to, to find or to describe the acceleration of the system, we use Newton's second law of motion. First of all, we have to, to analyze the free body diagram for mass 1 and for mass 2. Now, acceleration, acceleration of the system, the system 
is determined as follows. Determined as follows. The free body diagram for mass one, it is M1. There is a force, there is a force which pulls mass one towards, towards mass two. Because these two masses are connected together, so there, there is a tension, a tension in a connecting rope or in a connecting chain between mass one and mass two. There is tension T, also T, tension T for, for, for mass one and tension T for mass two. Because, because the surface is frictionless, this means that the forces acting on mass one are tension force T and the weight of this mass 1 which is given by mass 1 times acceleration due to gravity G also there is a normal reaction R there is a normal reaction R likewise for mass 2 for mass 2 the free body diagram the free body diagram there is an external driving force F the pulling force and the tension T, also the weight of mass 2, M2 times G, and the normal reaction R. Because our motion is along the horizontal, so the vertical seeking forces have no effect on our motion. Now we consider only the horizontal seeking forces. Now from from Newton, Newton's second law of motion, from Newton's second law of motion, for mass one, for mass one, the net force acting on mass one is given by mass one times acceleration of the system. Suppose acceleration of the system is towards the direction of the motion. Okay. The net force, the total force acting on mass 1 is given by mass 1 times acceleration of the system. Okay. So, tension T, which is the only force acting on, it, on the horizontal towards the direction of the motion. Tension T is equal to mass 1 times acceleration. Call this equation one. Okay, also for mass two, for mass two, for mass two, the net force acting on mass two is given by mass two times acceleration of the system. Something to note here is that acceleration of the, of, of the two masses, mass one and mass two, is the same because the system is connected system. So they move with the same, with the same acceleration. Okay. But the forces acting on mass 2, there are two forces, the external force F and the tension force T. However, tension force T is, should be assigned negative because it opposes the direction of the motion. Now, now, we say external force F plus the, the negative tension T is given by mass 2 times acceleration. Now, F minus T equals to M2 times acceleration of the bodies. Okay. 
it is f minus t equals to mass 2 times acceleration call this the second equation now suppose we are interested to obtain the expression for acceleration a now we compare we compare equation 1 with equation 2 or substitute where well, substitute t equals to m1 times a in equation 2 now substitute substitute equation 1 into equation 2 to obtain to obtain external force f minus it is now m1 times a equals to m2 times a okay f f minus f equals okay f equals to m2 times a then plus m1 times a shift this in the other side because it has a negative sign in the other side should be positive okay f equals to a out out of brackets m1 plus m2 make a the subject to obtain acceleration of the system equals to external force apply the f out of m1 then e plus m2 now this is the expression for acceleration of the system for these two masses connected together and moving along the horizontal frictionless surface okay now suppose if the surface is not frictionless in such a way that it is rough describing the motion of these two connected bodies moving along the horizontal we have to consider the friction force because there is a coefficient of friction force relative to, to, to the surface of the bodies and to the surface of the plane. 